Hi guys and welcome to Student Database Management System developed using MySQL using Visual Basic. Alright guys, now let me show you guys how this works. Right here the details of Paul Loman and that's me, it's right in here. Now, those details that I've just shown to you guys on the data grid view, right there, there they are. I'm also going to show it to you guys on the database itself or in the database itself. So let's open up the database. That is the database that I created for the project. So if I come in here now, so let's click on the table so that we can view the table. There, that's the table. As you can see, those are the details of Paul Lumen that is on the system itself. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on reset and let's enter new data. So let's say that's the student details and this very student, his name is Tony Montana. Let's bring it down. And I'm just going to speed up the rest of the details of Montana. Okay, we have the details of Tony Montana in place, so let's go for the course that is actually taken. Click on that and let's select computer science for Tony Montana. And he happens to be, let's say, an overseas student and is staying in one of the accommodations. He is on exchange program and that is a scholarship and there has a second year. Right now let's come in here subject taking c sharp and here we need to enter what was called in there database and system analysis come down in here artificial intelligence web development object oriented programming and Raspberry Pi finally animation there we go so as you can see I've entered 900 plus in there so the system automatically deleted look at that once I move away from there it's now going to be acceptable so let's enter a value between 100 in there there and that is it the system automatically calculate everything and this is just to double check there we go so it's a first class student okay if we go in here you will notice tony montana's details is not there so to get tony montana's details on the data review all we need to do is to click on add new and this message box display that is successfully added click on ok let's go in there and that is it those are Tony Montana's details okay now let's go straight to our database that is the database to view Tony Montana's details in here we're going to have to refresh click on refresh and that's it that's Tony Montana's details in there. And that's all there is to it. Just for your information, this is just an overview. And I'll see you guys in the full tutorial shortly.